Meteorologist Kim Castro, we are still on that hot and humid stretch. These temperatures are not cooling off during the overnight hours, and they're a little bit hotter than where we should be for this time of year. So for that reason, the National Weather Service is flagging a big chunk of the Lone Star State under an increased heat risk. For Southeast Texas, the risk is moderate to major. What this means is you need to be paying close attention to your body. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, excessively sweating, you're feeling a little dizzy, your skin's a little clammy, maybe you have muscle cramps, you could be experiencing heat exhaustion. At that point, you need to make sure you cool your body off by going to a cool space. If you typically work from home and you're still without power, go to a coffee shop, go to the mall, go to an area with air conditioning. Make sure you're, of course, keeping hydrated and take cold showers so your body again can reset. Now, if you're experiencing anything like this, you're not sweating anymore because you're really, even though you're really hot, you have a throbbing headache, your skin is red and flashy, maybe you even start to lose consciousness. At that point, you might be experiencing a heat stroke and it's time to call 911. Under these conditions too, it's important important to keep a close eye on our pets. Uh, make sure you kind of change the procedure. Usually maybe if you take them out for a walk or run after work, if they've been hot all day at home, limit exercise. So skip the exercising this week while we're having uh, some of the power issue still being restored. You don't want to have those pets overheating due to exercise and then staying hot afterwards. Notice if they're panting, if their gums have some problems with coloration, and if they're starting to kind of wobble a little bit. If that's the case, take him to the vet. Now, this weekend, we could see those temperatures and the heat index values get to the criteria of a heat advisory. So for Southeast Texas, it means the air temperature would have to get to 103. We're not gonna touch that, but I think we're definitely going to get into the 108 territory for the weekend as far as the feeling is concerned. So when you factor in that humidity, here is your Memorial Day weekend forecast. 93 degrees Saturday feels like 104, 95 Sunday feels like 106, and by Memorial Day Monday, it could feel like 110 degrees. So take these heat warnings seriously, regardless of if we see an advisory issued, we are under a heightened heat risk across Southeast Texas. Taxes, limit the amount of time that you spend outside or in a place that does not have air conditioning.